Hey friends, we are back with another one from Hope for Each Day. I love that this is written by Billy Graham. If you guys don't know who Billy Graham is, go and look him up. Go and have your mom tell you about him. He's a wonderful evangelist, lived and preached for many, many years. And um, we had the honor of getting to travel with him some, and it was really beautiful. So this is called A Safe Landing. And so this is him speaking to you. But first, it's a Bible verse from Matthew 7, 14. It says, the gate that opens the way to true life is very small, and the road to true life is very hard. Only a few people find that road. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Let's see. Once, when I was on a flight from Korea to Japan, we ran into a big snowstorm. All right, now, Billy Graham, like I said, he was an evangelist, so that means he went around and he held big, they were called crusades, but they were like big gatherings where he would tell people about the Lord. And it started out small and it grew and grew and grew, but he traveled all around the world. And if you ever get to visit in North Carolina at his offices, it's so beautiful because you get to go and you see um, in all these cases full of things that people from each country have given him as gifts or memorabilia, things that he learned while he was there. And so it's really beautiful. So this was a trip from Korea to Japan. When we arrived over the airport in Tokyo, we could hardly see anything outside the plane windows, just lots of snow. So the pilot had to land the plane without seeing the runway. Uh-oh. I sat up in the cockpit with them. That's where the pilot is, right? And he got to sit up there with him and he watched as the controllers in the airport tower guided him down. Ooh, that's a lot of trust, isn't it? I knew our lives depended on their precise instructions. I did not want them to say to the pilot, oh, well, just land anywhere you want. Would that be good? No, because the pilot couldn't see anything. The snow was so hard, he couldn't see. So he was waiting to hear somebody from the ground to tell him, turn this way, turn that way what to do, someone who could see. We don't think it'll matter. It'll, what the altitude, you just keep on going how fast as you, as fast as you come in. That is not what you want to hear. When we come in for a landing in the great airport of heaven, we want to land safely too, right? Sometimes people say that it doesn't really matter what you believe, that you go to heaven as long as you're sincere. Hmm. But Jesus taught that the only way to heaven is by believing in him. You, can, you and I can be sure we'll arrive in heaven safely because Jesus is our guide and he has gone before us to make the way. Do you guys remember on Sunday we talked about Jesus being our bridge to heaven, right? To God. And so this kind of just goes along with that. It's like Jesus has made the way for us in heaven. So we just have to believe in him and trust in him. Just like that pilot needed to trust somebody who was going to guide him right. We need to trust Jesus just that same way. We need to trust that Jesus is going to guide us. But we can't trust him if we don't listen to him, right? What if that pilot didn't listen? The, the um, controller said, turn right here, turn left here. And he's like, oh, whatever, I'll just do whatever. Do you think that he would have had a safe landing? Probably not, right? So same thing for us. We want to have a safe landing up in heaven. We want to get to heaven in the most beautiful way we can. And that's following the path that Jesus has set for us. So the more we talk to him, pray, right? The more we read his word, the Bible, right? The more we spend time um, with Christian friends and learning and seeking the Lord, that's how our landing will be safe. That's how we learn to have faith in God. All right, so I hope you guys will turn to him today talk to him. Let me talk to him right now for you. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for these kids. I just ask that you, um, you help these kids see, help me see what the path is that you have for us. Help us to stay on the path that's clear and um, guided by you, Lord. We thank you that um, you're ready with open arms to guide us through life. And we trust you and um, hope to trust you more each day. We love you and thank you for these kids. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. See you guys.